Volunteers are working in snow and gusting winds to finish up shelters for residents of Prince George's Moccasin Flats encampment. Brad Gustafson is a volunteer and a contractor by trade. He's designed the shelters, tall enough to stand in and small enough to heat. They're eight feet wide by eight feet deep or eight, eight, eight feet long with a slight slope to it and with a tin roof and um, they just are big enough for two people to have a bed in. Mayor Simon Yu campaigned on building emergency shelters for the unhoused. He told CBC News it's been harder than he thought. The problem on the street that we, uh, for the scale that we have enough face in there as a society together for was for a long, long, long time. And then last week, the city of Prince George issued notices saying building and occupying these structures is illegal. Nikita Tiji has spent winters in a tent before. This year, she's in one of these tiny homes with her partner. It's better. It's a lot better than a tent, for sure. These people are going to freeze out here, man. Like they should be getting us lumber and stuff. The city told CBC News there are no plans to enforce the orders, and volunteers say they aren't stopping. Gustafson says there is still a wait list of about 60 people hoping for shelter this winter. Kate Partridge, CBC News, Prince George.